Hi Kalichi here and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this simple shopping logo in Photoshop. So before we get started with the tutorial itself, I wanna say thank you very much for the support because we finally reached 500 subscribers! And yeah, it may be just a small uh, amount, it's just maybe a small number for you guys, but it means a lot to me. So in the next video, I'm gonna be making a... Uh, a 500 subscriber special video so who knows if it's going to be a, a giveaway or maybe a Q&A video or maybe just a challenge or maybe even a shout out I, I don't know so leave a comment down below kind of content in the next video that you want so yeah without, without further ado let's get started with the tutorial stuff shall we open a Photoshop and once you've already opened a Photoshop you can go to file and then click new and then for the size it's pretty much optional you can go with any size you want so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with um, 1080p and then click OK and then there, there it is, there's a blank canvas so if you already have this blank canvas you can go to the link down below in the description and then you will be directed to this uh, website and then it says supermarket cart uh, outline vector so now or if you're already on this website you can go to edit and download and then wait for it Okay, so we have eight uh, cards. We're gonna need this one and only, and so yeah, you can just uh, drag the the rest of the cards by using your mouse, by using your li uh, left mouse, and then just click delete to delete all of them, and then just delete. Okay, so now and then we only have this card that we needed, so you can just uh, drag it out, something like that, and just to scale it up, and then. If you're already done with the cart, you can go to download and then select the type file as PNG and accept the terms and conditions and then go to download and wait for it to download and it will be downloaded. So I'm gonna go to the folder. Are you recording? Okay, that's what here. It okay so here it is the PNG file itself so let's go back to the uh, Photoshop you can go to the uh, folder of the download and then just drag it out from the explorer to the canvas and it will be oh no <laughs> it's not responding okay so here it is the PNG file itself you can just drag it out the explorer into the canvas and then there we go we have the PNG file and then click OK so this doesn't have a background so yeah we're, we're safe and then just go to rasterize layer by clicking uh, by right clicking this uh, panel and the layers and then just did a do a little bit of adjustments so I'm gonna go like that okay so so what I did next is go to the T button right here or just press T on your keyboard to open up the type tool and then just type on something like wait for it I'm gonna go I'm gonna use the color of the card itself and then click OK and I'm gonna type on Hoppedia so and then just scale it up what okay scale it up like that Okay, so the font that I'm gonna be using is called Bukhari Script Regular. Okay, there you go. Here it is, Shopedia. So this font, Bukhari Script, is a, a pretty cool uh, free font. So this is uh, totally free. So you can use this on your uh, personal or commercial uses. So yeah, it's really, really free and you and and yeah, it's really cool. So you can use this on your logos and everything. So I so I did a full review on this font on the previous uh, video which is the top 10 free best free font so yeah you should check it out and yeah so here it is we already have the shop the hoppedia or shopedia i must say because it has uh it looks like an s and then it says hoppedia so it says shopedia so we go right so next i did a little bit of adjustment to the cart so next you can go to the polygonal lasso tool by right clicking this button if you have this uh, by default you have this lasso tool you can just right click on the button and then go to polygonal lasso tool and then just select the cart itself uh, I mean the upper uh, part of the cart and then just uh, go to 
and then just right click and then click layer via cut and then you have this uh, separate layer so so the wheels and the upper body of the cart are separated you can just rename the layer name something like upper cart and then this one is wheels so with the wheels we have no problem with that but the uh, the cart itself it's a bit too large so so now what I'm gonna do is to transform the upper cart layer and then do a little bit of adjustments so I can make it maybe something like that like so so it so it's not too large maybe something like that and do a little, little bit of skewing so it looks kinda cool okay so there we go and then the wheels as well by using the free transform maybe like so okay so now we, we can see that the thickness of the card and the uh, text uh, are not the same so now I'm gonna select the layer of the upper body of the card again and then go to the FX uh, button right here or just you can or you can just go to layer go to layer style and then go to stroke so next what I'm gonna do is play around with the size and then change the position into outside and then I'm gonna go with the color of the text itself so it looks pretty sick so and now play around with the size so it looks the same it has the same thickness of the, the text and then once you've already done with that or maybe it's just too thick okay so there it is once you've already done with that you can go do okay you can go click okay and then okay okay then it's pretty much almost done so okay so I'm gonna go to the full transform and then a little bit of adjustments again so now it's already done so as you can see we have this swashy thing so this is what I like about the Bukhari script font so so now you can just search for Bukhari script regular and then go to the glyph so if you don't if you don't have the glyphs already so for example I'm gonna close this first so it's it's not here right so to make it appear you can go to the window and then click glyphs and there we go we have this uh, glyphs okay so in the glyphs you can just search for this this swash thing so it's beside the T and the pound uh, symbol so I don't know what, what's it called but so if you already downloaded this font it will come with this so you can just search for the swash and then just click OK and then by using the what is it again by the move tool you can go just put it right there you know, like that and then go to and then you can just right click and do a little bit of a transformation Maybe something like that okay just to make it connected with the A well, for example I'm gonna go there and then you can just do a little bit of transformation so like that maybe okay make it a little bit uh, shorter so there we go so here it is it's so simple and yeah we're, we're done okay so that that's it we are done with the logo so it says wrap shop idea and it's effective and it's simple so yeah that's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial so if you really find this tutorial very helpful don't forget to leave a like leave a comment down below as well for some feedback and recommendation uh, also some questions don't, don't be afraid to ask some questions so yeah and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and awesomeness so yeah so it looks uh, a bit uh, different so yeah but yeah you get the points right so here it is, shop video logo, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kaliti, and see you around. Bye bye.